everybody Ann here and guess what time it is it is gardening time I'm looking at all the different things I can buy looking for the best prices but you want to know what I have done the best with the cheapest stuff there is which is basically I know you're gonna kill me you're gonna hate me plain old topsoil $1.58 a bag and this Earth Grove Organic Hummus and Manure. Do a mixture of those, 193. And uh, I've always been able to grow really well in that. Of course, I add fertilizers and whatnot later. But um, I'm just planting seeds right now. So that's what I'm going to go with. Look at all these seeds. What am I going to get? These are the cheap ones, 50 cents. I'll probably go with them if I can find herbs because that's what we're doing today. We're doing an, a herb garden. The problem that I'm seeing with the cheap seeds, they don't have everything I want. So I am getting the spinach, the basil, the oregano, and I'm splurging. I have to grow peppermint and chives. So I'm just gonna go pay for all of this and take it home. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to talk quiet so people don't think I'm crazy. Let's see what they got. Yeah, well, they got cilantro. I was going to get that, but they were $1.44, so let me go ahead and throw this in. Oh, oh, look. The sweet basil. That's the kind I like. I'm getting it. And I am going to put back that because this is actually the kind that I like. Yay! Oh my goodness, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whew. I was really going to only grow four different things, but you know what? That's okay. I have nine spots. Um, I think I'm going to try this lettuce and spinach and let them share a row. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to have to think this through. Plain old chives or garlic chives? I'm going for the cheaper one. These are only $2.96. I think I'm staying under budget, so I'm going to grab one of these. And I'm going to go get some tomato seeds. Yep, beefsteak tomatoes for the win. I'm going to need more soil. I got all my soil, my hummus, and my seeds all going into this messy van. Get started. I think I'm going to start with this thing here. Now I got these from the dollar store. And I've got four of them and they stack. So, uh, let's get this thing going. Okay, these cool little things, they do have drills already hold, uh, drilled in the bottom. And little drainage cups. So all you basically do is just stack them on top of each other. Like so. One more. There, Betty goes again. And that's it. So I'm going to fill them each up with soil, a mixture of soil and uh, hummus and manure, and plant my seeds. First layer is just plain old soil. Well, that cheap soil that I got. Second layer is the hummus and manure. And then I just layer it until it is all the way up at the top. And then I'll mix it around a little bit. There it is. So I need to figure out what I'm going to plant where. And the good thing about this is you can turn it, rotate it. If the ones in the back aren't getting enough sun, you can just turn it around. Um, it would be cool if, it, if I had it on like a little turntable thing. So now I have to map out what I'm going to plant and where. Okay, I think this is going to be the plan. Actually, I got too many seeds, too much to put in each little thing. Uh, so I'm going to hold off on planting the lettuce. I think I'm going to put them in something different because I want to grow a lot of lettuce. So sweet basil and chives are going to go here um, because I can always make the, um, uh, the, the basil more bushy by pinching it off. We're going to go cilantro in here because I love cilantro. Oregano, that grows pretty tall. And then peppermint grows super tall. So that's how I'm going to do my seeds. Yep, that's the bottom one. Next one up next and next. Peppermint time! And look at, look at those little tiny baby seeds. 
So I'm just going to poke some shallow holes, put the little seeds down in there. You know how it's done. It's not too, too earth shaking. For the oregano, it's going to go in this planter. And what I did with this one too, and I'll just show you. I just made some little holes. These don't have to be planted too deep. Neither does the peppermint. That's probably even a little bit too deep. And since the peppermint seeds are so plentiful and uh, there's like a zillion of them, you know what I mean? I put a bunch of seeds down in each hole and then I will just uh, hope that one of them sprouts. So we'll see. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put the seeds in this one, the oregano, and just keep, keep going. Time for cilantro. Cilantro, I put about five or six seeds in each one. Now, I don't expect all of them are going to germinate. I hope at least one of them germinates. But if they do, like I said for the other ones, I can just uh, thin them out, maybe plant them somewhere else. And last but not least, it's time for the sweet basil and chives. I'll do two sweet basil and one chive in the center and one chive on the end. Now it's time to go down to my tiny stream and get a little bit of water. This is gonna be fun. This looks like it is the deepest area. So I'm gonna see how much I can get into this bucket. Oh, I think that's about it. But I bought a little measuring cup thing with me. And maybe I can just get a little bit more. I think that's enough for right now. If not, I can just come back and get some more. I'm just gonna kind of water a little bit. Give them a nice soaking. The soil and hummus is already really moist, but we'll go ahead and water them just a little bit. There we go. I think that's good enough. I don't know. I may add some more. Give the next layer a little bit of water. There we go. And it looks like I'm watering them enough because they're already starting to drip. So that's good. Yeah. And it looks pretty much like all of them are dripping. I like how one drips into another one. Except for these. They just go to the ground. The top one isn't dripping yet, but I might add just a little bit more water. And then that is going to be done. And then it's going to be time. Well, I'm going to have to dump this water out. Uh, to do my tomato bucket. First thing I gotta do is drill some holes. All right, that should do. I'm just gonna layer the soil with the organic hummus and manure in and just mix it all up. And one of these days I'm gonna have a tripod so you can watch me doing all this, ha <laughs> ha. All done. Now it's time to add the seeds. Now, my goal is to grow one tomato plant in this pot. But of course, I'm gonna plant a bunch of seeds because who knows if they'll germinate. So, let me find my tomato seeds. Oh my goodness, where'd I put them? Here they are. Will 20 cent tomato, bee steak tomato seeds germinate? I don't know. I'm going to make three holes and I don't know, maybe, maybe put a couple seeds in each one. And if uh, I get more than one that comes up, well, then I'll just transplant it somewhere else. I don't know if you can see it, but I've actually made one, two, three, four, five spots. So hopefully at least one of them will germinate. Look at how many seeds I put in each one. Well, they're 20 cent seeds, so I don't know. I don't know if any of them are gonna sprout. But you know what, if they do and I get an abundance of them, that is a bonus. Pick this up because I know that once I water it, it's gonna be heavier. And I am putting this one right over here. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, don't let, I'm not gonna put it that close because I don't want the, the rain from the gutters to come and splatter all over it and just ruin it. So now I just need to water it a little bit. Here we go. I might have to go down to my little river. Oops, gotta be careful and get some more water because this is a big bucket. And I really do kind of want it to be pretty wet. Yeah, we're gonna go get some more water. And a little bit more water. Trying to be gentle. I have watered enough, how do I know? Because 
don't know if you can see that, but it is coming out the bottom of the bucket. So we've soaked it nice, and I kind of like the placement of this because if the tomatoes do sprout and grow, I may be able to, you know, secure them to this trellis. I know I need to get a stake, um, but having it grow over here, that might be a good idea, so long as it doesn't damage the wood. I don't know, we'll, we'll just have to see. At least it's something I could tie onto. So this is where that's going to stay. And this, I may move next to that over there, but uh, for right now, that's just fine. Uh, so I have another full bag of soil and about another half a bag of this organic manure and hummus. You know what? This is different than the stuff that I've used. I actually could have just used all of this. Before, when I've done it, I, I've used the cheap topsoil and then just the plain hummus without manure. This, I don't know, I think you could probably just... Nah, I don't think I'd use it by itself. But I'm going to save this bag because I might be able to grow something in it. Maybe. I put the leftover soil in the shed and the hummus too. And this is the beginning to my growing season. It's going to be amazing if I can get anything to grow with those cheap seeds and the cheap soil. I don't know. I mean, I've done it before, um, and I've grown some amazing, amazing plants. So who knows? I mean, I'm on a budget. I don't have a lot to spend. So we'll just see how it goes. Anyhow, that's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.